Me, wrong. Who would have thought? Well, I actually would because there have been plenty of things that I've been wrong about before and there will be even more that I will be wrong about in the future. Uh, so this is <laughs> nothing new. Uh, but we've been talking about uh, the wide receivers with the Baltimore Ravens, especially recently talking about how with enough Ravens receivers, it's hard enough for them to make it as is, but especially when you are not a first round draft pick. Ooh, the odds are stacked way against you with the Baltimore Ravens. Why? Because the Ravens are known to be a run first team. So even for the receivers that do get their opportunities, uh, it's even hard for them enough time. It can be a struggle, but especially something that I had said, especially when we went through the history of the Baltimore Ravens, they don't really make it out alive. They don't make it out alive. They don't get a second contract with the Baltimore Ravens. They don't really get a second contract really anywhere, hardly any of them. Torrey Smith, of course, was the exception, but there was somebody else that not only went against what we were saying, but they did it both with the Ravens and with another team as well. 2016, we drafted a wide receiver named Chris Moore. Uh, I think he was drafted in the fourth round of the draft, I believe. I forgot when he got drafted, but he was drafted in 2016. So he played for four years, 2016, 17, 18, and 19. So then 2020 came and he was a free agent. What happened to him? Well, the Baltimore Ravens, they re-signed him to a one-year deal. So technically... He got a second contract with the Ravens. And get, get this. He not only got a second contract from the Ravens, but he also wasn't a first-round pick. And then, on top of that, he left the Ravens and the Texans signed him. So he defied all the odds by getting the second deal from the Ravens and then going to the Houston Texans. How did I forget about that? Well, again, y'all know my memory. Sometimes it could be shot on some stuff. But shout out to my guy, JT, because he brought that to my attention. Um, so, yes, Chris Moore. He is somebody, along with Torrey Smith, both not drafted in the first round by the Baltimore Ravens, and they made it out alive. So, there we go. I just wanted to let y'all know that because it's been something that has been on my mind for just a couple of hours because uh, he told me early this morning. And I was like, ah. I completely forgot. I, I, I didn't even realize. It did not cross my mind one time. Because I completely forgot about that one-year deal that the Ravens gave to Chris Moore uh, a couple years ago. So, there we go. There we go. So, for any Ravens receivers, especially if you were drafted outside of the first round, there is still hope. It's slim. The, the chances are still very, very slim of you making it out alive. Now, of course, we talked about how Eric DaCosta seems to be trying to change the way that the Ravens and receivers are viewed. But so far, it's just looking like Hollywood and Bateman, they're going to be the main ones changing that. We'll see if anybody else can after that. Um, but just something that was on my mind. So I, I felt like I needed to share. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And never feel bad when you're wrong about something. Just admit it. And everything will be all right. We out.